In this Melody Music Review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this copyright-free music support tool. Melody Music is a tool that helps you enhance your creativity, avoid copyright headaches, and find better music. Once we've logged in, we come straight over to the Browse Music section. In the search box, we could obviously search by keyword, so if we were looking for a particular genre of music, we could search in there, or something that sounds like a similar artist, then we could search there. They've also got the pretty cool feature of being able to pick a song from YouTube and find something similar, or alternatively, upload your own audio file and find something similar to that. So if I click on the YouTube button, and then if you enter your YouTube link and click send, it should find something similar to that. So let's go ahead and click on send. Okay, so I've searched it by using a reference to a track that I found on YouTube. The track I chose was Dead Mouse Strobe, so let's see if any of these sound similar. Okay, so that's definitely got similar vibes to the track I selected. Below the search bar, we've got a couple of options. We have a genre, where we can select from an array of genres. We've got orchestral, world, dance, blues and jazz, rock, hip-hop, folk, electronic, R&B and soul, pop, country and cinematic. Next to genre we have mood, so there's a whole range of different moods here, abstract, bittersweet, cheesy, driving, exciting, aggressive, etc. We then have instrument, where we can select from different instruments, Again, they've got quite a wide range. We've even got like banjo or Celtic pipes. Next to instrument is purpose. So we can select from 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, animation, Bollywood. Say if this was for a YouTube video or a short film, then you could select a piece of music that goes with that genre. We then have BPM, the beats per minute. So you can set this. You could say your minimum BPM is 50 and your maximum is 263, or if you're looking for a very specific BPM, then you can set that to something very specific. Like say if we were looking for a dance track and we wanted it to be 128 beats per minute, then we can just set it to that. Next to BPM is key. If you wanted music in a specific key, you can select here from major keys or minor keys. We do have the option as well to select from each of these menus so we can make it more specific. So, for example, we could select World for Genre, and then Emotional for Mood, a Dulcimer for Instrument, Drama for Purpose, Flexible with the BPM, and we'll leave it as Flexible for the key. It is worth noting as well that on these sections there's a Show All button, so if you click on there, we get loads more results. For instruments there, you know, we've got pretty much every instrument you can think of. That's also the same with genre, as we can see we've got loads of genres there, mood and purpose. So if we go ahead and click search there, and as we can see there it's got a couple of results. I did take away a few options because I think maybe I went a little bit too niche, but let's give these a listen and see if they sort of fit our criteria. If you click on the arrow button as well, you've got the full song, which we can click on there. We obviously have a full player at the bottom, so you can skip along, you can pause, go backwards, forwards, restart, etc. So that one there is obviously the full track, but we can select isolated instruments. So for example, this one is bass only. And as we can hear there, it's only playing the bass. It does this for all the instruments, so it also does it for guitars. We also have options that remove instruments like no arpeggiator. And there's even an option for the underscore. Next to the versions tab is details. If we click on there, here this has got all the tags. So it's got the genres that it fits into, the moods it fits into, the instruments it fits into, and the purposes as well as the beats per minute, the opening key, and the closing key. Next to that, we have copyright. This gives us the copyright information, and there is the option to download it as a CSV. 
We also have options on the right hand side to download or favorite or also copy it as a link. If we wanted to change this up and reset our search, we just click on the reset search button and then we can go through again and select what we're looking for. So what did I think of Melody Music? Well, I think it made it really simple to look for copyright free music. There was a wide array of different filters, things like being able to filter it by the genre or the BPM or the feel just make things so much easier. My favourite feature of all was the ability to paste a YouTube link so we could actually search for something that sounds similar. That was really cool. I would definitely recommend Melody Music. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.